So then, Joe, we're back from Switch Electrical in Peterborough, and yeah. we've brought the Dewalt cable stapler with us, and we're going to do a product review of it. Yep. Perhaps in the future we'll do a race as well. Yeah. So can you talk me through one or two of the features that we've got with this Dewalt cable stapler? Well, absolutely. It incorporates, first of all, the Dewalt 18-volt lithium-ion battery technology. You just feel the weight that yeah, isn't yeah. on that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When I was first starting as an apprentice, battery drills used to weigh a ton. Do you remember you had batteries like this big on the bottom of it? But we've got this lovely uh, slim profile, two ampere hour uh, lithium ion battery that goes on the bottom here. And this is the same connection, the same system that's used on all Dewalt products. Okay. So you're saying that if I had a battery drill set up already, that the batteries would be interchangeable between that and the staple Absolutely, gun. yeah. So if this one runs out and you've got your drill there, you could just swap it over while this one was charging, which is great. Some more nice features about this. We're very interested in safety. Obviously, we yep. want people using this equipment safely. Now, don't worry, this isn't loaded at the moment, uh, but there is uh, a safety feature on this. So I'm not allowed to just fire staples across the room. <laughs> Gary's been very clear about that. Um, but there is a little uh, retention switch there, yep. a little actuator, yep. that means that unless that is pressed down onto a cable, this simply won't fire a staple. So it's not going to uh, to happen just, you know, while you're carrying it around, you're not gonna accidentally fire a staple into your leg. That's really good. And the staples come in blocks of 15, of which the machine can take two at one time. Yep. So we can get 30, fixings, I don't know if they're going to call them clips or supports maybe, yep. let's call them supports. Yep. Um, we can get 30 supports in at any one time. Yep. They are, I think, pretty much universal for the cables of which they will fit, is that true? That's correct, yes. Yeah. So again, we're, these really are designed, it looks to us, like they're going on to twin and CPC cables, yeah, flat, flat profile, profile cables, yeah. um, and there is a one-size-fits-all policy. So this is uh, the only staple size that we can find. We believe it's the only staple size that will fit in here, and whatever cable you're using, this will tack on to it. We're going to have a look later and see just how firmly it tacks on, see how secure it is uh, and see how it performs under those conditions. Um, and it's just a standard size, 25 mil deep, 19 mil wide, yeah. and as you say, 15 to uh, a clip effectively. Okay, and they've got a, a plastic section on the top, obviously, to stop the metal clip from crushing against yeah. the PVC, which yeah. is a nice feature, and they are metallic. Now, yeah. we're not suggesting they've passed any uh, regulatory uh, premature collapsing, but they no. would support for an extended period of time being metallic, won't they, Joe? Absolutely, yeah. What we need to do, guys, in a future video, is I think we need to maybe get this hooked up onto a piece of cable that's on a joist, and maybe get a blowtorch on these and just see how they perform. Again, that won't be you know a regularised, standardised test <laughs> that we can use in a court of law, but it'd be interesting just to see how well they do perform. Okay, that's really good. I think what we ought to do is, is just do the test, really. I'm, I'm pretty excited about firing some of these staples in at cables yeah. and just see what, what sort of supports they give the cables. Let's go for it. So then, Joe, before the exciting part of actually using the Dewalt staple gun, we must load it first of all with the staples. Can you show us how easy that is? Yep, couldn't be easier. At the back here, you've got this button that you just depress, and then this whole section just slides out, just like a regular stapler. And then what we do is we pop in a row of staples like that, and then you simply just slide that back in until it locks, and that's it loaded, ready to go. So we're all loaded up then, Joe, and we're ready to go the exciting bits. Absolutely. So. First time for me, first time for you, is it? We're going to be stapling cables. Yeah, let's have a go. Yeah, that'd so, be good fun. I've done alarm cables in the past. Never, yeah, yeah, yeah good thinking. CPC. Yeah. So using the same method, um, we're going to use a six mil cable because you told me it was a 19 mil wide space between the cables. Correct, yep. Staple, should say staple. Absolutely. So if, I, if we hold out a piece of six mil, which is yep. probably between six and 10, they're going to be the largest domestic oh cables you're going to install. Yep. And you fire one in for us. All right, so we'll pop one there, and again, depresses the actuator and fires in and that has entered quite nicely, yeah. Okay. So we're not going to dress this as if we were trying to keep it straight and flat and on show, no. we're just going to fire some clips in yep. for me. I'm going to do the, the classic spacing distance of the length of the tool. Okay. Yep. So we're going to go okay. from there to there. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. And we're off the end there, so that'll do. Yep. Right, so, I mean, that was quick, wasn't it? Just it was four, quick. four supports in, rapid time. However, there's something a little bit different there for us to get used to. Yes, so it doesn't appear, now when I used to clip cables, uh, I always used to like them to be quite firmly in place. If you pulled on it, it wouldn't necessarily slide through a run of clips. Okay. I don't think these staples are designed to hold the cable in that way. To support the cable. Yes, they're designed to support the cable, so you can see it's not gonna fall down, it's yep. not gonna fall off here. However, it might be a little bit of a departure from what we're used to of, it's also still quite flexible in terms yeah. of how much it will move. 
My argument there would be if you laid a cable, say, on a ceiling, on the plasterboard ceiling in a roof space, mm -hmm. we're not supporting those cables. No. They're just, just laying there. So yeah. again, these, so we're not clipping those cables. Yeah. And likewise here, we've held it in place by supporting it, but we're yeah. not stopping it moving. It's actually as if it was clipped. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's a, a six mil cable. Let's go, let's go to the extremities of pulling a one mil out. Let's okay. go the other way. So here's a piece of one mil twin and CPC. I'll okay. hold that in place. Would you like to have a go at stapling? I would desperately like to have a go. Let's, have a, let's share the, share so, the fun. Just so people can see a left-handed person can do it as well. There we go. So if we go to a similar place. There we go. So there you go. That's a good example. The actuator didn't grab. So of course the cable didn't clip. And this cable's a lot smaller. Uh, right. You've got to sit it on top of the cable. See, so that was good. slipped out from yeah, underneath it Absolutely there, yeah. it did. Right, we've got a little, we'll, twist a little twisting going on there. Yeah, what would your students say? There we go. And one more. One more. In this way. So there you can see go. what I mean there. Very okay. good. Now again, looking at this, to me, it looks like those clips have actually gone in exactly the same distance. So I don't think this is responding to the thickness of the cable at all. I think what's happening is it's going in to the pre uh, sort of set depth that that stapler has programmed into it. Okay. So again, if we look at that. Yeah, that, that moves a lot. See, quite a lot of movement there. So again, this is something that people are going to have to decide whether that's something that they're happy with, with it being able to move that much, or whether they're happy that that is supported and meets the relevant requirements. We're looking at timber frame buildings now in the UK yep. become more and more commonplace. Yep. So with the, you know, the internal skeleton of that building being made out of wood, yep. this would save electricians vast amount of times in supporting cables, yep. Absolutely. but would be a departure from clipping them. Absolutely. And also it's worth noting this is not designed to clip into masonry, block or breeze. Yep. It's designed to clip into a timber surface. So yep. it's worth bearing that in mind before you make a decision whether to go for it or not. So then, Joe, we can clearly see that it clipped very quickly. Yep. And we could argue that saves electricians time. Yep. However, it might be electricians' personal preference whether they went down the, the stapling of cables route. Absolutely. It is a really nice bit of kit. It's really well made, as you'd expect from Dewalt. And it's got some lovely features. Uh, there's a nice little window here that shows you when you're getting low on staples. It's very, very easy to uh, load and reload, as we saw. And it's super flexible with the battery system as well, which is great. But, like you say, it is down to the individual electrician to decide whether they're going to go with uh, the more, perhaps, secure method yeah. of clipping their cables, the more traditional method, or whether they're happy to uh, go with a bit more speed and consider this to be supported rather than secured. Yeah.